Hey, I just want to really quickly talk about lateral raises and proper shoulder positioning. Um, I think it's really crucial that we get our shoulders set into the right place in order to um, prevent shoulder injury while doing um, any kind of overhead pressing, um, even horizontal pressing such as chest press, um, but even simple movements like lateral raises. If we don't get our um, shoulder set in the right place, we can actually really tear that shoulder joint up in between the bone that runs right here and your shoulder joint, right? Your, your rotator cuff and all the musculature back here can get compressed between there. And that's what typically causes rotator cuff tears or partial tears or fraying, uh, etc. So um, when we talk about doing lateral raises specifically, I want to talk about how we can set the shoulder back into external rotation to set it properly into the joint so that you're not setting it up into, um, into the acromion ridge here, which is that bone. Um, anyways, so... <laughs> So we can do a couple things. Um, first of all, the when we do a lateral raise, the, the attempt is to hit this muscle right here, right? That your medial delt. Um, and when we do them standing straight up, we have to tilt our, typically do them, you know, uh, neutral or even thumbs down. You might've heard like pouring, like pouring the, the pitcher and, and doing lateral raises that way. So when you do that, so again, this is the muscle that we're, that we're aiming to hit. This puts that muscle in a line of pull, right? We can see that right here, um, you know, as we, as we do this, that muscle is the muscle being worked. So, um, but the problem is, is when you have internal rotation like this, you're literally jamming that, that shoulder joint upwards and putting a lot of force right in here. And that's where we get, again, those shoulder issues. So what I like to do, because I've had tons of shoulder issues, is I do, uh, I do these with thumbs up, um, slightly leaned over, um, I guess I call them thumbs up, um, incline or, or decline, Again, however you want to call it, uh, uh, lateral raises. So um, I find it best if you support yourself on something. I'm just going to use my weight stand here. So if we lean forward and we did the same movement, now we're hitting more of a rear delt, right? Because the line of pull is now coming through here. Well, we want to set our shoulder back. We want to get our, our shoulder set into external rotation. So what we want to do is set our shoulder back like that and do them thumbs up. So what that now has done is still allowed this medial delt, the middle of your shoulder, which you're aiming for, to get hit in this range of motion. You can see it right there that now this muscle is the main line of pull. Um, and, and, and I wanna really make that clear that you can do you can do this, right? Forearm uh, pronation. Um, oh, what's the other word for that? Uh, I can't think of it right now. Anyways, uh, you, you can twist this indiv independently of twisting your shoulder. So we wanna really make sure that you're actually setting your shoulder back into place, right? This That's the, the goal here is to set your shoulder back through external rotation. Um, you would could kind of think about it like trying to put your shoulder blade down in your back pocket. So anyways, you get into what a 15 or 20 degree angle, you set your shoulder blade back, and that is how you're going to do your lateral raises, right? And you can do them more thumbs up too, right? The more that you do them thumbs up, the more that you're going to get that, that clearance in your shoulder where everything moves really nice, you're not worried about pinching anything, and you're still hitting your, your medial delt there. So... You just do them like that, and that will hit that muscle without putting any strain, or uh, or maybe that's not the right way to put it, but it's a safer movement for your shoulders. So um, try that out, and let me know if that helps you with your lateral raises, okay?